Hey everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener. Thanks for joining me for the end of the series of growing peppers from seeds. So uh, this is the finale for the series. There is no other. There was three others in the series, three other parts. Up to now, I'll show you the uh, final pepper plant from seeds. I'll show you two of them that I co-planted in a small container and they're producing fruit already this year. So I'll show you what that looks like. Again, look at my prior videos to look at uh, proper nutrition and all that type of stuff. And I'll talk about that in a second too. Uh, this has been a crazy week here in Houston, Texas. And most of you have seen in the news, we've had a record rainfall, uh, 20 inches of rain, 16 to 20 inches of rain in one day. Uh, uh, my thoughts and prayers are out to my friends and coworkers and everybody in Houston that have been flooded and had terrible loss with their homes. Um, uh, if you've never lived in Texas or Houston, uh, many of you deal with different things, uh, earthquakes and tornadoes. We get uh, uh, unbelievable storms here and unbelievable rain that leads to flooding. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm fortunate that uh, not only did I have no property damage, but also as my plants go, I staked everything up prior to the storm. Uh, so I had very little damage, but my thoughts and prayers go out to those who did have uh, losses, whether it's property or, or, or loved ones. Uh, let me show you uh, the final of the series, what the pepper plants look like, and that will make this series a wrap. Hold tight. Actually, before I get to the pepper, I want to remind everybody what you're looking at is my green stalk garden grow tower. There's kale in there, there's herbs, as you'll see, there's cucumbers now flowing out of it, um, and there's some peppers growing so this can be used for many things anyway all you have to do is subscribe to my channel in the next two months I'll be drawing a four level green stalk garden giving it away to my subscribers all you have to do is subscribe if nothing else is pretty easy so let's get over to the finale to the series uh, the pepper plant so these are two pepper plants that I started from seed uh, one's a sweet bell uh, excuse me a sweet banana pepper the other one is a purple bell pepper so um, let's let's take a look at these and um, show you what's going on. I want to bring up a few points here. So keep in mind, you know, when you see uh, uh, pepper plants um, and you see them in the store, let's say you go to uh, uh, you buy them at Home Depot or one of those type of places, um, you know, you'll see you know 90 days. Uh, what what you have to really keep in mind: pepper plants take a long time to grow as I talked about earlier in the series. So if it says 70 to 90 days, that's 70 to 90 days after transplant. So it takes you, you know, eight weeks to 10 weeks, maybe to 12 weeks before you even get them outside. So pepper plants take a long time. So you know, if you talk about ROI and business, return on income, excuse me, return on investment, or other things, keep in mind that this pepper, this, all this, this is a, a, a sweet banana pepper, uh, with beautiful peppers there all of this came from one seed and on this side is a uh, purple bell pepper and uh, i'll show you some of the purple bell peppers here in a second but all came from one seed pretty remarkable the other thing that i've talked about in my growing pepper plants from seeds is it's pretty interesting let me back up a little bit the one on the left as you can see is the bell pepper plant this one um, i did not clip that so um, i usually clip my pepper plants to make them more bushy so you'll see how much taller that one is uh, than this bell pepper plant, which was clipped and uh, is getting a lot more bushier. Um, but uh, they both have a lot of flowers. It's just that uh, this, will, this one will have to be staked up a little bit more because it's, um, it's taller, where this is more bushier. So uh, it just depends. I should, thought this would be interesting to show you, even though it's two different varieties, the bell versus a sweet banana. There's a difference when you clip them. So let's take a look. So uh, look at my previous videos. You'll see the nutrients I used. Um, and you'll have, I have quite a batch of bell peppers. This is the biggest one right here. Um, you'll see that right there. And uh, there's some over there and a bunch of flowers up top. So uh, when I'm done with this sweet banana pepper plant, I do expect it to make about 25 to 30. Um, and I do have it, I should have shown you in about a 20 gallon pot and I kind of did some partnered planting with um, uh, this this purple bell pepper so the purple bell pepper look look again how green those leaves look again I did I do foliar feeding on these with both macro and micronutrients you can look at my recent videos on that and you can see how brilliant green uh, the colors are lots of flowers lots of buds and you'll see 
um, this is a purple bell pepper so see if I can get in here um, move the camera but right there you'll see the purple bell pepper okay right there uh, there's one there and there's actually a few others around here you can see so they're purple bell peppers and they're a bunch of small green ones they start green and then they turn into a purple uh, color so all of those excuse me for the camera I just have to move this around all of these are doing very well so um, a lot of people ask about nutrients again the appropriate amount of NPK and then use all the micronutrients that I talked about or some type of rock dust or azomite it'll do you well so um, but these things they do feed a lot on those especially the macronutrients and if it's in a pot like mine you got to make sure that you um, continually uh, peppers like moist not wet but moist soil and always get a saucer on the bottom so uh, the roots you can fill it from the bottom and you don't risk it going dry in the summer if your pepper plant goes dry the soil goes dry for a few days it will die okay it's as simple as that another big thing I've talked about before in the previous in the series is calcium make sure um, you have some type of calcium supplement uh, that you put in the plant or in your foliar spray because if you do not have a, a good amount of calcium the wall, cell walls of the pepper will get calcium uh, or uh, pepper end rot just like tomato end rot so calcium is a critical um, micronutrient excuse me in the pepper plant so that's it guys and ladies uh, those are the pepper plants those are two that were planted from seed I do have a lot more but these are probably the two that are along the furthest and I want to end this series on a good note so that's it hope you've enjoyed this series if you haven't seen the first three parts of the growing pepper plants from seed series please do so again the model the moral to the story here is pepper plants do take a lot of time to grow and when you're growing them, they do need heat 80 degrees or more uh, to, to really prosper lots of uh, nutrients as I talked about and um, and uh, uh, moist soil not wet but moist soil that's it hope you've enjoyed this series that's it for me on the pepper plants from seed series hope that you've uh, hope you can give me a thumbs up if you like this video also if you have a friend that may be interested in container gardening or just regular old gardening uh, forward them to my channel we'd love to have them as part of this community until next time take care bye